so hi everyone there is a new git repo that is trending for a very long time that is manim so manim is a python framework for creating mathematical animation so this is a very interesting framework that has came in and eventually a little different from generative ai because here you will be providing your mathematical equations you want to draw out some figures and that would be getting animated and generated as video so this can be a great tool for content creation and they provide a hosted notebook as well this is the package called manim so let's get started so they have provided installation guide as well how you can install the package if you don't want to install it they have provided a online jupyter notebook as well where you can go and run it this will get loaded in our system as you can see the online notebook where we can play around with the framework and can understand what different types of animations it can generate so it has been trending for a very long time now and the quality looks amazing to me so worth giving a try whether you wish to install it into your local system or even you can use the online hosted notebook so let's get started so first of all let's execute a few codes and see what output it generates So here you can see that it has defined its construct circle to square. So basically this will help you to transition from circle to square. This is what is my assumption. Here you can see. Now it first created a circle and then a square. This is amazing. The animation looks of high quality to be honest. And here you can see the codes which you can explore later and eventually i would be exploring it in the upcoming videos this can be taken as just a beginner introduction to what manim can do here you can see they have classes for every shape beat circle beat square you can mention the color opacity and then play as well so self dot play and then wait self dot play and wait so we will be deep diving into the codes in the later videos for now this looks amazing to me as you can see here now let's jump on to some different notebook different cell and let's see what output it gives the syntax looks quite interesting to me i think it's very straightforward it's not anything confusing you wish to draw a circle just call the circle class if you wish to draw set a color blue just pass that parameter so it's quite intuitive here you can see that our text is also appearing now in the video where they are mentioning a class as uh, a function as text a while circle appear nothing major i think this is very very fantastic and i would be trying it out to create some mathematical tutorials what are the other things in the notebook let me see i think the inference time also looks quite amazing to me because it is not taking much time and looks quite useful to me because i am into creating courses and videos as well or like if you wish to draw out animations in your presentation for mathematics i think that's crazy now as you can see it is providing different types of animation the animation length is 5 second but as you can see it first wrote some text then a motion of the text towards the top and then a circle is getting drawn looks very very intuitive because it is just calling out a function construct and then passing whatever shape you wish to build whatever text you can go animation positions is given shift left shift right rotation is provided there is a triangle here you can see and lot of animations you can do so it's first creating a triangle shifting it left and then zooming it up quite good quite good the framework looks seamless to me and it provides a lot of hyper parameter as well as i can see angle is there there are now two squares coming in one is blinking other is rotating and here you can see what code they have used the codes are also very very intuitive now this is the interesting part where you can animate a mathematical equation also this is something that i have been looking for some time now in my blogs because i face a very hard time writing a equation in the blogs so this can be more intuitive to the users and even in the tutorials as well so here you can see this sort of an animation is getting provided here looks very very interesting and can be of a great utility also here you can see that all the subscripts 
different symbols that are getting used in mathematics integration function it looks amazing because there are multiple things that i struggle a lot while typing this looks to be another mathematical equation example here you can see that by using math text they are able to represent equation also as animations and the best part is the speed i think i haven't spent much time and before that the video is getting rendered as well so it's just a kill here you can see that some swaps are have it is solving the entire equation in a video this is amazing if you say this equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 there are three equations that they have mentioned and this is how you are, can even visualize an entire mathematical solution this can be crazingly good for online classes and even if you are tutoring someone online so there are some more advanced example here that they have given that we can run once so right now we have seen how basic animation like circle square multiple shapes in the same animation movement of the shapes writing text writing equations now let's see what does this particular cell outputs for us now it's a mathematical equation as you can see and quite a oh yes so it is now able to highlight as well now shifting focus and it is a equation for differentiation i can as i can remember from my school days now it is able to shift focus from one segment to another segment here you can see it is providing as comma and then surrounding rectangle to product formula one so basically it is providing the entire equation in parts and then providing rounding rectangles on certain parts this is interesting use case let's see what new this particular example has the notebook is quite detailed as well as they have mentioned everything about what the how this code has been written what are the different baselines getting used and is pretty good looks easy also to me because as i can see i am also reading it for the first time with you guys and eventually i am able to make sense what is happening within the code so it's not that difficult to read as well oh yes this is amazingly good now it is drawing out an entire graph in front of you visualizing it and this is amazing this is a very very complicated animation to be honest as you can see writing the text alongside plotting an entire graph that is visually done uh, it's it's crazingly good and i think my name i would start using right now but this example i think i missed out last time when i was trying it in my personal level before recording this so let us quickly complete all the examples so here you can see that it is using network x so it would be using something around graphs now in these in the later examples the last example was just amazing mind blowing for me here you can see that it is creating a graph now graph object so basically in all the examples they are trying to show that what sort of animations you can build here you can see it is now drawing out an entire graph earlier it was a plot their shapes mathematical equations it can visualize everything so here is the example for the above code snippet it can even visualize codes also in like this oh this can be a great game changer if you are into course making if you make courses on udemy or if you are into teaching because here it is now able to visualize a code snippet as well and you can see that it is also following the code color patterns that are required so this is amazing uh, so so far before jumping till the last example we have seen everything visualized that is codes we have seen we have done shapes multiple shapes text 
mathematical equations we have seen graphs we have seen plots and now uh, python codes with color palette being followed i think this can be the next big thing and i was thinking about why this particular package in the era of generative ai is floating so much on uh, git so today i got a chance to explore this and my god i think it's worth the hype because right now it is about 70000 stars if i'm not wrong on github and it's worth so because the quality of visualization that it is providing and what a game changer it can be in the case of course generation uh, i think you don't have any idea because right now i can create an entire course with just man videos what i can visualize so this is the last example that we would be exploring and then we will end up this entire tutorial on manam it's not more of a tutorial it's more of a demo video which where i wish to demonstrate how strong a package manam is for animations and visualization of mathematical concepts i think this was a, this is a very necessary package because at times i am not able to convey the equations or mathematical things which get a little boring for people to read so i think video format going ahead would be the next big thing even in uh, ed tech content as well and i think manam would be playing a major major role in that so let's see what it generates and the notebook is quite detailed and as i have already told you it is present on manam's official git repo so here you can see that nice nice this is looking like movie level animation to be honest what an effect a very complicated effect and here you can see that it is changing font also for the text here that was a transform amazingly good so with this we will wrap up this video of manen looks great a great package i will try to run it and uh, showcase a few demonstrations around it in the next video i hope you try it out too and let us know in the comment how you feel about it thank you so much